Hey guys, okay, so today I'm going to be doing a DIY on my calculator and how to make it super cute. Um, so all you're going to need basically is a calculator, your printed out, whatever you want. You honestly don't have to do like a little culture print or anything like that. You can print out a dog, you can print out whatever you want. Um, and then you're just going to need some Mod Podge and some pencils and some scissors. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so now that we've got everything we need, um, I printed out the Winner's Choice, I think, Lily Pulitzer print. Um, it's from, if you just type in Lily Pulitzer prints on Google, it'll give you like a Tumblr page that has a whole bunch of them. And then I have got the calculator cover. This is from a um, Texas Instrument 93 or something. It's the same kind of calculator I have. But hers has like a bunch of, um, like there's a bunch of like residue and stuff on it right now because um, she had a bunch of nail polish designs on it and I tried to take them off but I figured I would just cover it up. I mean, why not? Um, and then you're gonna want not a paintbrush. If you can only find a paintbrush like me, um, use a paintbrush. But um, what I was looking for, which is what I used on mine, is a like sponge paintbrush. Um, it just covers way better. But yeah. So what you're gonna start doing is um, place your calculator down, and you can kind of look and see um, where on the print you want it. Like if you want it up here because you like this one, or if you like want all of them, kind of like put it in the middle. So like kind of roughly know where you're putting it. So mine's gonna be like in this part. I just flipped it over just so there's not like pencil marks are all over it. So what you're going to do is I start by just outlining the entire thing. Oops. Okay, and then once you have the entire thing outlined, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you get the sides um, so that, you know, it goes all the way around. So what you're going to do is hold it really still and lay it on its side like this. And then... This is actually pretty difficult. Go kind of how you just go around the edges. And then once you um, have it done, you can see that it's like, you kind of got to make it come together because you need to make the side, the bottom come together as well. And then like up here, kind of, kind of just make it up sometimes. And then sometimes I will go back and make sure that my lines are all where they're supposed to be. Okay, yeah, see that line was a little off. Now that you've got basically everything that you're going to need traced out, you are just going to start cutting. Um, make sure to cut on the outside and you can even give yourself a little bit more space if you wanted to. So like cut a little bit further just in case it doesn't completely fit around your calculator. Okay, so now that you've got it cut out, what you are going to start doing is take your Mod Podge. And if you don't have Mod Podge, what you can do is um, look up recipes. You can actually make it. It is, um, I believe, something like three-fourths water or three-fourths glue, one-fourth water, or something like that. Um, I don't think this is the same one I used when I made mine because this one is really messy. Anyways. So what you're just going to start to do is um, to paint this and then put it on and then um, go over it. So yeah. What I like to do when putting it on is line up the bottom because the bottom is a place where you didn't um, mess like you know with anything. So then you just push it on 
and then I flip it over and go around the edges. And you want to push it out and make sure there's no bubbles. And if you need to scoot it down a little bit, do so. Now that you've basically got it laid out, you are going to want to do the exact same thing on top of it. And then at the top, make sure that when you go over it, you get underneath these flaps that you folded over to make sure that it stays secure. And now you're just going to want to let it dry, and then if there's any little spots that you need to um, fix, say they're not sticking as well, you can do that. Like for example, on mine, um, this top part right here came a little bit undone, so um, while I'm waiting, I'm actually just going to fix that real quick. Okay, so mine is about dry. There are just some um, bigger glue pieces that aren't dry yet, but I wanted to mention to you guys that if you do have a um, dark case, like black um you're gonna want to lean towards patterns or colors that are darker for example this one I didn't have an issue with and I didn't realize until I started doing this one whereas in the lighter colors the um black kind of comes through when um the glue is applied now I think it should be fine once it dries but that is just a heads up that it could look a little splotchier if you do have a lighter or a white color on top of your black case. Okay, so I actually found um, what I was talking about, but I obviously already did it, but this is what I meant by a sponge brush. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to get on. But yeah, so um, this one is basically finished drying. There's just a few little um, spots left, but that is what it looks like. And so I just went around the edges and trimmed up um, where it was longer, or you can just um, like pinch it over and put some more glue under there. But yeah, so I hope you guys like this, and I'll talk to you later.